three 0 win over Shildon this evening, and through to the preliminary round of the FA Cup. Fabulous performance tonight. What are your thoughts? Yeah, uh, back that up definitely. Uh, performance was superb. Uh, they did everything we asked of them. Um, obviously, coming through the last pre-season, two pre-season games with victories, put you in good stead, ready for this. But when it's your first competitive game in a long time, you just want them to react in the right way, and everybody did the jobs really, really well. Um, I think we could have had more than the three. Um, there was a couple of cynical yellows at the end, stopping us breakaways, and Nathan Mulligan's had a uh, point blank header saved, so it could have been anything really from sort of four or five up. But we'll take a three nil um, over the moon with it. And uh, yeah, the pressing and everything in terms of us going forward and um, just to outplay a side like Shilton mm. just is impressive. Yeah, well, it's it's something that obviously we beat them twice last year. We hadn't beat them prior to that, and again, finding where you are, finding your feet with with after such a long break and seeing if, if where we're going to be. The likes of our new signing Shane, how's he going to cope? Obviously, he just had a, an injury. He's, he's he looks superb today, back to what we know he's capable of. Um, and we pressed right across the park from from the front. Wide players, front players, and then it comes through the attack midfield. Nathan pressed a lot, Max did the same, and then backed up by, by the other two holding midfielders. We pressed all over the park. And, and I thought for the first 10 or 15 minutes, they never really got going because of that. And we, they never really got in our half except for, for a free kick and a clearance. We, we just pressed and pressed and pressed. So. It was difficult for, for them to get, get their, any sort of game going and it suited us and, and that's what we've been instilling into the, into the lads that from the previous two games and just carried that on into that and, and got the rewards for it. And I would say every player on our side was uh, quality tonight but uh, the sort of standout player for myself was Jonathan Franks. You, right. every, everything he did was sort of mm-hmm. excellent. He got a goal as well to, yeah. to cap it off as well. Well we had a chat, I had a chat with him before the game Michael as well and I, just chatting to him about he was saying to me, he, he just something just needed to click for him, and and we know what he's capable of, but he just hasn't sort of got really going. He hasn't ever played badly. He just hasn't hasn't really sort of like ignited his his, his game. But and we were saying to Dave, said, well, if Jordan and Shane give you the ball early, and you can then go and play early, and he did, and everything he did, he does he does with quality. It's very rare you see him give the ball away, so I'd agree with that. His quality of, of deliveries and, and what to do and when to do it, and then he got his he got his goal right at the end, which will. Give him a big lift as well, and he was over the moon in there at the end of that. I think he was superb. I think our whole back four were excellent. Obviously, Callum's made a great save at 2 0 to keep us uh, two up, keep the deficit at two. If they'd have scored that, it would possibly be different, different after that. But then you think the amount of work that the front the front three have got through, and uh, Munchie was good as well. So, very happy Nathan continues in a, in a good run as well. So, yeah, all over the park, very happy. And. Um... Billingham Town in the preliminary round uh, a week on Saturday. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on that time? Yeah, it's, it's, it's one we've got to prepare properly for. Um, obviously, we played them at the early at the start of last season and, and, and turned them over, but a game, an FA Cup game against a local rival will be a, will be a difficult game. We've got to approach the, the game in the right way. I mean, we've been talking about this. If you look at where we finished last season as a, as a whole, every, every team in the league's finished below us. So you're always every team's going to be below you. So you uh, based on where we were. So we've got to adapt our game to playing teams that not just who finished in the bottom three, four, five, six, but teams that are possibly going to be. They might not have a lot of the ball. They might put a lot in, in five or six uh, at the back and, and and put a couple of holding midfielders in there. And you've got to break it down. Um, they might come out and and, and press. And we'll see how, we'll see what the game's like. See what it, how it turns out. But we've got to approach it in the right manner and um, going to in the same sort of manner as we have this one. And finally, starting the league campaign on Saturday with a game against Kizipur Sound. Yeah. Uh, how are we feeling about that? Yeah, really looking forward to it again. Another local, another local derby, which are great. Games against Kizipur are always difficult. Uh, they don't give anybody an easy game. Uh, they're, they're quite uh, feisty affairs, to say the least. So, again, we've got to make sure that we, uh, we put ourselves around in the same manner that we did tonight. But I'm really looking forward to that, and it'll be good to get the league going again.